The most common question on this channel is not how long I've been coding for or what tech stack I use. No, sir. It is what VS Code extensions that I use on the daily. Real life saving questions, guys. <laughs> But nonetheless, in this video, I just wanted to cover the VS Code extensions that I use every day, from the themes I use to the AI tools that I utilize. I will cover the eight tools I use the most in this video. And the first one that I use almost every day and I actually just started using is Bearded Theme. And I've been in love with the Bearded Theme Monokai stone right over here. And if we head over here, you can see, looks pretty good. I, I personally like this color scheme. It's dark, it fits the style, and I just, I really enjoy it. And the other color theme that I use is the Monokai Pro. And this one I tend to use when I'm in like a really serious mood. I don't know why, but these two are like the main things, themes I use. This one for more, you know, classy sort of vibe with coding and the other one for a relaxed sort of feel to coding. Now the third GitHub extension that I use is GitHub Copilot. Now this is not a surprise because everyone knows about it. Nearly 14 million people have downloaded, which is absolutely crazy, but it's really no surprise, right? Like it's amazing, it's one of the best tools and it's frankly my favorite thing because it just makes coding so much faster to write. So like, for example, let's say I added a div here, it'll fully recommend stuff for me to write in here. And all I need to do is just press tab and I have this book icon right away. Although it doesn't get things right 100% of the time, it does get things right a lot of times, like the recommendations. And it's just great to have something there to recommend me stuff, help me fix bugs and do stuff like that. And so for example, let's say that I misspelled something here as well. I can just press quick fix and I can ask it to fix it using Copilot and it will pop this thing up and it will recommend something for me to install. So for example, here it's telling me to install this package because you know, it's not there. And so just stuff like that makes it so much more seamless to just code and you know, I have less to think about. The fourth VS Code extension that I use every day, and I think every developer has this, is uh, Prettier. It's just a code formatter. All you gotta do is like just install it, and then when you go to your code, it basically just formats your code. So when I press enter or return, I want it to go over here rather than like back here or here, right? And Prettier just formats the code for me so that it makes it easier to look at and nicer to see. The fifth VS Code extension that I use every day is the Material Icon theme. Now this one is, I've actually gotten asked a lot about like how I have these types of icons on my like TSX and like my API routes, but it's basically from Material Icon theme. And again, I don't, I don't really care what it looks like. I just, I like the way it looks, you know, it has like the Prisma thing for my database. And I just like how it has the custom looks for each specific folder. And again, there are many good icon themes, but this is the one I like the most because it's so subtle. Like look at the TypeScript uh, image. I just, you know, I just like it. it's a personal preference, but I just love material icon. I've always used it. Now the next VS Code extension that I use, this might be actually my favorite one. I was gonna say GitHub Copilot, but I think this one might be the most useful out of all of them. And it is the Tailwind CSS IntelliSense. So basically, right, if you're like a front-end developer and you're using Tailwind for your projects, you know how annoying it is to not have recommendations. And so what the Tailwind CSS IntelliSense does, right, is that it gives you recommendations within your Tailwind, like any sort of a JavaScript code or CSS code would have. So over here, let's say I wanted a transition. If I just fix that, you can see all the recommendations for transition. Or if I wanted like a border, I will have all the recommendations I have from like the color to the type of border, all here for recommendations so I could just use right away. And frankly, this was a real game changer because I had the recommendations there. I didn't really have to remember the specifics. I could just have it there and then look it up if I really needed to, but I just love it. Now, the next one I use is the to-do highlight. Now, I don't know if you know this one, but you're actually gonna love this, okay? So when you're working on, let's say, a part of the application, let's go to the layout, for example, and let's say we needed to add a for loop here. Now, many people will just write like, you know, add for loop, and then maybe come to it another day. But in a big application, you don't really want to have it like this because like, you can't, you can't really see it. Like sure it's there, but a really cool thing is that we have to do highlight and all you wanna do is just write to do like this with the two dots and you can see that it is highlighted. So now if you have to do like a for loop, you have it here really easy to see this. It's kind of lazy, you know, like why would you want highlights on your to do's? But I just like it because it acts as a way for me to like, you know, you got to do it, you got to do it. And I, I just, I just like it. It's a really cool one that I found out about like a couple months ago. And I just, I just love using it. And the final VS code extension that I use, which is frankly 
Amazing is Postman. If you're anything like myself, you want to test your APIs like really quickly. And basically what Postman will do is that instead of you having to create the UI to then test your API, you can just test your API within Visual Studio Code. So if I just open this up, you can see over here, right? That we can create an API testing in our code. So we can just create a new HTTP request. And in here, we can just add the URL for where our API is. So let's say we have an API call at slash API slash mail. We can just create a post request to it, for example. And let's say we needed the email. So email, and then let's just put xyz at gmail.com. Turn that to JSON. And what Postman will do is it will send a post request to API slash mail with these parameters. And basically it just makes it easier to test APIs and do code. Like I did this for a ton of my projects and I am in love with it. It just makes it so much easier, so much faster to test code so that then when you're, it's time to implement it, you know it will work because you tested it right away. But yeah, those are the Visual Studio Code themes that I use every day. If you have a recommendation of other ones I should use, I would love to know more. I'm always open to something new. And yeah, if you want the free web developer roadmap, it's absolutely free, like you don't even have to pay for it, then I will leave that in the description below. And also, if you want to join our free Discord server where we have like, six, I think 650 people right now, and it's not like those other Discord groups, that's what every Discord server says, but I'm telling you, it's not like those other ones. We have an active group of amazing developers trying to help each other out. We have job opportunities on there. We have uh, businesses being started, just everything. And it's absolutely free. It's just the best community on YouTube. I sort of use the best community on YouTube. Yeah, happy coding and I'll see you in the next video. Bye-bye.